morning. This is the part I've been looking forward to. Because like I said, we use the word blessed without really realizing the depth of meaning. Now, I have to confess that the scriptures I'm going to read now come out of the Amplified Bible or the, the attitude, the, the description of blessed. It comes out of the Amplified Bible in Matthew 5 from verses 3 to 10. It sounds like I've done a Greek study, but I haven't. But it's just wonderful to hear this. Blessed, happy, fortunate, to be envied. Blessed with a, um, a happiness produced by the experience of God's favor. And especially conditioned by the revelation of his matchless grace. Spiritually prosperous with life, joy, and and satisfaction in that state in which a born-again child of God enjoys his favor, fearing nothing from him. Blithesome, that means a cheerful disposition. Joyous, regardless of their outward conditions, are those who possess these qualities. So those are the blessings that God pronounces, and these are some of the rewards. These is the kingdom of heaven. They shall be comforted. They shall inherit the earth. They shall be completely satisfied. They shall obtain mercy. They shall see God. They shall be called sons of God. What a wonderful reward is that. And when I look at my life and the, the years that I've become a Christian, the only thing I can do is look back and say, look what the Lord has done. Because he does it. Isaiah 62 verses 2 and 3 is one of the references alongside the Beatitudes in my Bible, which further confirms how blessed we are. And it goes like this. And the nations shall see our righteousness and vindication, our right, rightness and justice, not our own, but his ascribed to us. All kings shall behold your glory and salvation. And you shall be called by a new name, which the name, the mouth of the Lord shall name. You shall also be so beautiful and prosperous as to be thought of as a crown of glory and honor in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem, exceedingly beautiful in the hand of your God. God delights in you when you humbly accept the implanted word that is able to save your soul. It's not by works, but by believing and receiving God's goodness. And remember, it is his goodness that leads us to repentance and a change of mind. Lord, I belong to you, and I'm so grateful that you are working your divine, your divine nature into me. I thank you that we are favored, that we are blessed. Thank you, Lord, that we can truly say and believe that we are highly favored and deeply loved.